According to the executive, there will be nearly $180 million in shortfall for fiscal year 2017. Additional cuts and additional ways to find revenues. That's how Executive Ike Leggett summarizes projections for his FY17 proposed operating budget. We just received news from the Comptroller's Office that our projections on revenue may be off and we're trying to figure out why that scenario is the case. But we believe that we're going to solve this and we're going to solve it in the best way possible. Keep in mind for the last two years, property tax rates for the average household in Montgomery County has been flat. One year we went up for $16 for household. The next year we went down by $17. So in essence, you look at the last two years, property tax has been relatively flat. So my view is the way we're going to solve this is that we will have to make additional cuts. And we may at some point need additional revenue. Half of the $4.4 billion budget goes to Montgomery County Public Schools, another $590 million to public safety, $354 million to pay for debt service, and $315 million to general government functions. The executive voiced against privatizing the operations of the Department of Liquor Control, emphasizing that losing $30 million from liquor sales would have a tremendous impact on the operating budget. So to make up $30 million, it will cost the average taxpayer in Montgomery County about $100 per household. That is for us to shift our liquor operation to a private development. Residents were able to ask questions on a myriad of topics ranging from sidewalk construction, libraries, public safety, to senior housing. Affordable senior housing is really at a premium in the county. Um, keep in mind that when you look around the region, um, Montgomery County has a unique a set of circumstances that are happening. We are drawing both older and younger at the same time. We have somewhere in the neighborhood of 26, 2,700 students that are coming into our school system every year. Uh, that is more than the, 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 about five or six counties around us. At the same time, we are drawing substantially older in Montgomery County. We have the oldest population, so we have to be mindful of the services that we need to provide for seniors. The executive will be hosting another four budget forums this month throughout the county. All forums start at 7 p.m. For more information or to view the budget, visit montgomerycountymd.gov slash open budget.